recently as sap announced the s4 hana 2020 release so in this video i will be talking about a few changes uh, which are being uh, done in 2020 release this is the video one uh, of course you know there are so many changes which i can't uh, cover in one crisp video so i will be coming up with more uh, short videos on what things have changed so that's why i have marked this video as video number one so just to give you preview uh, what are we covering in this video? So we will be covering changes to auto reversal of GL, uh, JVs, changes to manage general entries, accounting, asset accounting, what all key changes have been introduced, intercompany matching and reconciliation changes, and of course, uh, determination of COGS split ratio. So these are the five topics which are being touched in this video. Let's check first one. So first is auto reversal of GL. So now in this, what happens is, uh, if you plan to reverse the accounting entries in in future period, especially for accruals like uh, as organizations do. So now SAP has provided an option that system will automatically reverse uh, the journal entry. And the, it's a five step quick process. First is you manage templates. So when you create general entry template, you select post general entries with auto reverse. So in the template itself, you have to select the auto reverse uh, uh, option. And then in post JEs, you can choose the default template and from the list create, uh, you can use an either a new template, but it has to be auto reverse. Then you upload uh, the journal entries with a planned reversal date and the reversal reason. As usually, even if you give a reverse the document today, you have to give the date and the reason. And also you must add the auto reverse uh, related field in template before upload. So before when you are uploading the template, you give OK. If you are posting in on 10th October, the, the reversal should happen on 1st November. So you have to give the date in advance. And then you manage journal entries. You can view the planned reversal date and the reason uh, in the list of general entries and then you schedule the jobs. When you create an application job, you choose the post journal entries with auto reverse job template. There is an additional template being provided. But only key, key point to note is that these two fields, planned reversal date and reversal reason are required field when you use this auto reverse feature. So this is an automatic important feature because every organization create an approval in current, current month to ensure their financials are in line and for uh, AP and AR and then they reverse it next month. So that reversal activity manually being done next month is being now automatic. So that's one feature. And then the next one is manage general entry. The manage general entry, there is a new Fiori app which enables you to analyze your general entries and create reversals to make necessary adjustment. And with this release in 2020, this app provides you with more new features. This app exists, but there are more features like country specific field are added, asset accounting and public sector related fields are added, and tax country field is added. And this standard variant uh, are available to show intercompany as well and reversed journal. So you can identify intercompany and normal uh, accounting entries. Asset accounting, of course, you know, uh, with S4 HANA, asset accounting is every time the, the one of the key area, which is changing every with every release. Every release, you see something new. So now what has some key changes uh, are there, like a program available, which allows you to close fiscal year for one or more company codes or ledgers. For Germany, especially by it is by country, the second Corona tax aid law provides for temporary introduction of declining balance method. And you can map this depreciation in the system by using depreciation key DG25. Key introduced, it is specifically related to COVID-19 or coronavirus. Uh, of course, everybody is suffering currently uh, because of the, this in different ways. Some are sick, some are working from home and some are uh, you know in, in, impacted by jobs. So this is one of the specific thing uh, which is related to Germany feature. The app post transfer across company codes uh, is now available in a business catalog of an asset accountant role. And another display depreciation key display details are also available in the asset accountant role. Generally, asset accountant usually uh, depreciation key details, uh, what percentage is configured, what are the parameters configured in a depreciation key are, were not visible to the asset accountant. And the tile with the title reverse journal entry now also has subtitle called asset accounting specific. So when you are reversing the journal entries, you can specifically select asset accounting specific entries 
and it will only select those entries which are posted in asset accounting. So there is a specific check being given in the reversal tile. And then CDS views, there are a lot of, uh, I'll not read all those. Uh, you can take time and go through this. So there are following core data services views have been released for asset accounting. These are used for reporting purposes and for several other reasons, you know it very well what CDS views are. So these are the all CDS views for uh, released for asset accounting specifically for this area. Intercompany matching and reconciliation. So this functionality itself was ICMR. We generally call it ICMR. It was specifically released in 1909 with full-fledged details. And with 2020, the things which are high at high level change are manage reconciliation close. And this app is introduced for you to close or reopen a period reconciliation, view differences, buy reason code, and add comment for each breakdown. Because if uh, as an accounting team is uh, doing that reconciliation and the and the finance manager or the finance controllers wants to see why there is a difference in or if you have to contact your partner entity with an intercompany uh, business. So then those comments will be important. So this is very important app. You can manage your reconciliation process uh, with the few clear communication, uh, identification and by adding reason codes and comments. Matrix reconciliation. This feature enables you to set up a reconciliation and view reconciliation report based on two organizational dimensions. Usually one is a legal entity and another such as company, another is dimension such as profit center. So you can do matrix reconciliation like this company code, China company code with the profit center, for example, Hong Kong or whatever is the way profit centers are designed. So you can combine features and then you can do matrix reconciliation. So you can say China plus uh, this part profit center and now the intercompany partner might be Germany. So you can do that matrix reconciliation. On the fly currency translation for reconciliation report display, in addition to the standard measures such as transaction currency amount, group currency amount and quantity, you can now create converted measures when defining reconciliation cases to support on the fly currency translation and reconciliation report. So it is very important when you are dealing with multi-currency options, then you can simply just convert it and check, uh, check how your numbers look like. 1000 euros difference, how it looks like in US dollar if it is a uh, pertaining to the US dollar, US uh, company code. So those are the key changes in ICMR, intercompany matching reconciliation. This functionality came in 1909. Of course, uh, still a lot of room for enhancement, improvements and changes. So that's what SAP is starting with now. Determination of COGS split ratio. So this is the last topic for today. Uh, and now what is happening, I have given the comparison. I will come to that. So you can split the COGS cost of goods sold to refine your COGS information and enable a more detailed cost analysis. So cost of goods sold is basically a summary of uh, what is what is the cost of a goods sold, how, what is the manufacturing cost, how much margin you are getting. So on the left hand side, if you see how it was managed in the previous releases and on the right hand side, what has changed? So let's, let's first see. What, what was already going on. So for all currency types with legal valuation view, the ratio of amounts in the legal cost estimate in co company code was used as a basis. So the basis was uh, company code currency and in the legal cost estimate. For other currency types with a valuation view other than legal view, if available, the, if available, the ratio of amounts in the relevant cost estimate in the group currency was used as a basis. And another option was group currency. Now what is happening for each valuation view, the system checks whether a cost estimate can be found in accordance with the existing COX configuration. System uses currency type company code and group currency together. That is that it finds in the cost estimate and check whether it can find additional currency type for this cost estimate. If a currency type isn't available in the cost estimate nor in ML, the system applies the calculation that was valid before release. So in previous releases was checking one by one, first company code currency, then group currency, and then it was finding other options. But now it checks everything together. And then if it find information correctly, it applies. If not, it only, it again go back to the previous logic. So logic has been enhanced, simplified, so that you know you get what you want to see uh, in your COGS analysis. This is very important for analysis purposes and very important for COGS split calculation. So it's all about you know how system is calculating your COGS split. So that's all for today. I will, as I said, I will come up with another video very soon uh, on more changes because there are thousands of changes uh, being uh, 
done in 2020, which is every release does. So I will come back with more changes uh, as soon as uh, as possible uh, with the, in the form of video. You don't need to read documents. You can simply listen the video and of course, you know, uh, make notes as possible. One, one last comment, please do not forget to like, subscribe and share uh, the channels in the videos. And of course, you know, uh, please share your feedback and comments in the YouTube comments. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Stay safe.